Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on behalf of the Florent International Florist Organization, and good morning, rain. It's good for the flowers and plants. Uh, today, I will first in my first part, I will talk about Florent's view and role for importance of education and future development at field of international floristry and horticulture. So, uh, first to introduce Florent, we are international uh, organization supporting and connecting florist associations of the world. So, we were established in Strasbourg in 1956 uh, and we are already 67 years uh, representing industry, flower industry. So we have 23 member countries in Europe and as well Latin America and China. Uh, in Europe, we are representing uh, 100,000 florists only in Europe uh, and even more uh, in our member countries uh, overseas. Uh, in Europe, uh, uh, our members uh, have a turnover of 15 billions of uh, euros and we call us as a bridge between uh, business and the florists. Uh, this is how we are spread all over the Europe uh, and these are our member countries uh, logos. Uh, so we are supporting florists uh, associations uh, in the four critical areas where florists uh, face big challenges. So it's entrepreneurship, marketing, craftsmanship and education. Uh, oh, somebody is missing. Let's go. Yes. In order to improve the business life of flora entrepreneurs in every way, uh, to articulate and defend the strategic interests of the floral retail industry, and to safeguard and promote the healthy development of the flower industry worldwide. Uh, we are working with our partners in the close connection so in sector to make business better for all of us education education is very important so without educations we don't have a good know-how we don't have the base for uh, for the uh, good professional uh, work uh, so education and importance uh, of connection between industry and educational processes. So first of all, very important is uh, basic part. So school-based education with educational processes confirmed and supervised by government. Because that way we exactly know how the professional standard looks, how the curriculum looks, and somebody had to supervise it that. So and the best way if there is a everything supervised by government so that we have governmental floristry schools uh, uh, just to note in governmental floristry schools is always like 70% uh, 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 curriculum is uh, is obligatory and there is 30% which is uh, which is uh, where it's possible to make different things so and this is the part where designer work comes on then we have a lifelong, a lifelong learning based on uh, following back pra best practices and development. So in both parts, education must work in a strong connection between school in, and industry because successful companies are, and individuals are the storage of the best knowledges. That is very important and that way uh, the, uh, the students get the best knowledge in industry in the florist shop and they implement that at value and bring it back in a higher level. Here we have a little bit of professional profile field of activity. So, uh, knowledge about the plants and flowers is one of the most important things. So, we need to uh, take care about the people and culture, so never neglect the culture of the country and history. Communication as well is very important. Sustainable, sustainability, environment as well in this moment uh, and for future, most important design and economics. So all together, knowledge about all together makes uh, uh, florist uh, a highly skilled and professional florist. 
So, uh, education is floristry is powered by Florent and Flornet. So, we, uh, together with Flornet, uh, a network of best European floristry schools, uh, uh, can do this good exchange, so connection between schools and industry. So we have now all the tools to, 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 make, uh, to make this exchange of knowledge and uh, implementation of knowledge. Uh, so then we have lifelong learning based on following back practices and new developments. Uh, and we call that, that the florist of the future is the, is the product uh, uh, is the product uh, we take care of. So now a little bit about the skills and education. So goals for florists: uh, personal development, so entrepreneurial talking, adaptiveness, lifelong learning, data management, administration, calculation. Marketing communication, yes, the florist is not just a florist. The florist, uh, a good, very professional florist, is the mixture between the professional and uh, 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 and the uh, so the skilled uh, professional and the manager as well. So that makes the uh, floristry uh, and shows the floristry in the best way. So the marketing communication, e-commerce, social media, and of course personal contact and hospitality towards staff and clients and being able to make a story so about uh, uh, behind every product should be a story behind every flower before behind every plant should be a story that is personal approach and it is not like in supermarket when some flowers are on the track and there is no story is not not uh, it's very impersonal so there are more goals for florist personal development. So, of, of course, sustainability. Uh, I will mention that today maybe many times. So, zero kilometer bouquet. That means local production. Uh, and of course, at the field of the floristry, much more what I will explain later. Then human resources, personal insights, uh, and passion for uh, authority on flowers and plants. So, like I said before, storytelling, decoration, styling, atmosphere, advice for every personal occasion. Uh, so, products for well-being, wellness plants, uh, uh, health, aromatherapy, all these uh, uh, aspects are very important in floristry. Uh, skills and education. So, what is Florin's contribution here? So. Florent is uh, giving information, Florent is inspiring, Florent gives good practices and training to our members through our member countries. Uh, uh, so, training uh, and educational programs, e-learning, so we are educating our members through our member countries with uh, all kind of data, with all kind of information, posts every week, social media and so on and so on. But there are some uh, as well very important, uh, more important things. Uh, so Florence Judge Program with 100, based on 100 point judge system, which should be uh, uh, known to all the florists because this is the base for a good product. So you don't need actually to be a judge, but it, uh, it's very important to be acquainted with all these things in the judging uh, program in 100 point system. So that will make you, uh, that will make you as well a good florist if you will uh, take to consideration at least half of that what is inside. Okay, we have national certified judge in floristry design. We have international certified judge in floristry design. Then we have national certified assessor in floristry design and international certified assessor in floristry de design. Everything is based on Florin 100 point judging system. Then we have a Florin Florist Professional Standard that was developed uh, in cooperation with Florin and Flornet. That is actually actually professional standard, uh, uh, which is based for education for Florin Florist. It's based on the uh, on the professional standards of Germany, Finland, Slovenia, uh, Austria. So uh, 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 countries where floristry is uh, in school 
schools, so floristry schools are more than uh, 60 years of tradition and uh, floristry is, uh, and the florist is uh, a profession which is confirmed by government. Uh, then we have competitions at field of floristry and horticulture. This is very important. Uh, these are important events like Europa Cup, Eurofloors, World Cup, EuroSkills, World Skills, uh, and uh, I think now uh, our main uh, competitions uh, activities. Uh, we are organizing these floristic competitions such as Europa Cup, the European Florist Championship. Next edition will be in Netherlands, in Hague, in 2025. Uh, then we have uh, Eurofloors, Young Florist Championship. And this is with, with this year, 2023, in Arboretum Voci Potok in Slovenia, uh, which is a huge uh, park and under the Alps. And there will be this great outside competition. So uh, with these competitions, we are stimulating innovation and promoting the flower sectors because competitions are, the competitions are the place where new techniques are born, when new materials are used and uh, all kinds of novelties you can see there. A few uh, photos. So here you can see the Eurofloors 2013 in Croatia, actually in the Euclidean Palace. Uh, then we had Europa Cup 2060 in Genoa in Italy. Uh, then this is as well a few details from Genoa, Italy. Uh, Eurofloors 2018, Centraud in Belgium. The Belgium Queen was uh, covering, was uh, honorably covering the uh, 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 competition in Belgium. Uh, now, you all probably recognize this person, winner of the World Cup in 2015, uh, uh, Korean florist, the South Korean florist Alex Choi. And uh, uh, Florent is taking care about the jury and technical committee uh, for World Cup. Yes, <laughs> Alex is there. Uh, uh, Florent is taking care uh, about the judging uh, and technical committee uh, 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 at World Cup since 2015. Uh, Philadelphia, Philadelphia, USA, World Cup 2019, uh, and Europa Cup 2022, Katowice, Poland. And I may announce that this year uh, there is a, a World Cup organized in Manchester, United Kingdom. Uh, about the Florent judging system, Florent 100 point judging system. With uh, uh, judging by Florent 100 point judging system, judging is not subjective. So we have the most objective approach uh, with uh, Florent 100 point system, and we are, we are, um, uh, we are adding value and we are uh, uh, renovating this system all the time. So just uh, for, for sake of being the most, uh, sub uh, the most objective. So Florin 100 point system is the most objective uh, judging system uh, where you have to judge step by step and that way you reach really fair result. Uh, now, a little bit about the sustainable and importance for future at field of floristry and horticulture. This is, of course, a very important field. Uh, we have a sustainable florist program in Europe, which is uh, already, uh, we, which we are running in the uh, Netherlands and I think it, uh, uh, at some places in Germany as well. And the uh, UK will start with that, of course, but there is uh, a lot uh, more to say about sustain sustainability, but the basic things are, of course, uh, with basic aims. So, to stimulate the whole chain, uh, flowers and plants must be certified, florists must work sustainable. Uh, so, all the chain, chain really have to be uh, sustainable. And uh, this is maybe uh, a very good tema for next time, for a whole presentation. Uh, 
And it's important that uh, in future we will give to sustainable florists a uh, really distinctive position. So being sustain sustainable meaning is uh, uh, keeping our, our environment friendly and the zero kilometer bouquet with local production is as well important part of the uh, sustainability. And the benefits for florists, so uh, of course when a f f uh, sustainable florist will be uh, very well established, uh, that will mean a lot of benefits for florists, so uh, public procurement, reputation, trust, uh, uh, and of course uh, everything else. So sustainable, take sustainable, uh, sustainability as an important part of, uh, of uh, work in floristry for the future. Okay, just we go a little bit back. Now a second part, so my time is running, so I have to be <laughs> fast. Uh, flowering strategies for international flower and horticultural industries to respond to challenges in 2023. This is the product we developed uh, end of last year, was presented at IPMSN to close uh, a group of our member countries uh, in January, and now we are sharing that with you as well. So long-lasting and resistant flowers, and plants and their role in flower shop and let's get to know them so and the goals for uh, for uh, about that so in the flower shop we have to have a wide selection of flowers and plants of course a flower shop uh, should be fulfilled with flower and plants that is true as well so we have to have a minimum waste uh, we have to have best possible base a base for added value with story. That is what I was talking about before. The bouquet is not bouquet in the florist shop if it, the, there is not a story behind. And nature is an important aspect in flower shop. So in the, cheer, in the materials from nature, uh, 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 like implement, uh, uh, like a base for the arrangements and bouquets in the florist shop. Sustainability, of course, and my garden. What is my garden? So. Every florist should have a garden, at least a small garden, garden in pots, where you will grow few materials, uh, few plants, which will be like a jewel in your arrangements and uh, uh, in, your, in your bouquets. Because uh, you can buy uh, a lot of plants, uh, you can uh, pick the plants in the nature as well, uh, but you can have a small jewels in your garden, which you can add to your arrangements and bouquet, uh, bouquets, and that will be a special added value, which nobody else will have. So my garden is very important aspect. And of course, in Europe, we are always talking about the profit uh, and here as well. So at the end, after all these goals, the profit is as well very important one. So uh, uh, a wide selection of flowers and plants means that 60% of flowers in a shop should be with a lifespan of circa one month. Yes, correct, one month. That is background, which fulfills the flower shop. That, that, that are branches, wood, long-lasting greenery, stones, moss. Then we have to have long-lasting flowers, long-lasting plants. And very important thing in the flower shop is uh, seasonal aspect. So we should follow the nature. We should follow the materials from nature. And our flower shop, should be in the season reflection of uh, of outside of nature of garden uh, then of course uh, with that is very important ability to observe nature when we go outside even that we go just to park uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, forest uh, short walk somewhere in nature is important that we observe nature and that we are able to take from nature material which we can use it in the florist shop, uh, of course, with not, not damaging the nature. Uh, and this is the most and very important part and the added value for, uh, for a florist. And of course, most important knowledge about the plants. Uh, it's not just about to know the plant by name. It's to know the 
characteristics of plants. It's to know the, the uh, natural varieties of plants, how they act when they are cut, uh, how they act on sun, how they act in shadow. So that way, when we will be aware of their characteristics, we will be uh, uh, more successful by using them. So if we will uh, know how, how long ornithogalo will list, for example, we will exactly know that when we will see a field of ornithogalums in nature, where we can, of course, pick some, uh, that these ornithogalums will, uh, will uh, list a very long time, so, and that we can use them as well from nature, and it will be no harm, and our bouquet and arrangement will uh, be a really long-lasting bouquet on arrangement. So, botanical knowledge is very, very important. Now, let's go to some uh, uh, details. So, uh, we have spring and branches from garden or nature. I was talking before that uh, to fulfill the florist shops, we have to have background. And that background have to, can be made with branches, which can last a long time. So we fulfill the, our florist shop uh, with the branches and materials, uh, of course. Uh, and some of them we can have in the florist shops even uh, two months, three months. Uh, for example, uh, we can have the cornus branches, uh, uh, till summer and we can as well use it in like a mulch and we can use it as a construction for bouquet, uh, whatever. We can, uh, we can have pussy willow as well uh, for quite some time in the florist shop, not in water of course, and we can use it when uh, it fits to arrangement. Uh, of course, we can have a uh, forsythia maybe for two weeks or three, three weeks, uh, uh, but as well is uh, more than uh, many other flowers. And then we have, then we have, for example, caria. I saw you're using a lot of caria here. So when you pick branches at winter time, they're beautiful green branches, and you can have them in flower shop for a month. And when they start to bring out the, the flowers, you can use it uh, and, uh, as well, this is a good background in the florist shop. And then you have all kind of the uh, colored branches of betulas, but don't use all colors. So use the colors which are, uh, which are pastel, which are interesting, uh, not strong colors, which don't fit to springtime when we are talking about the springtime. Then a little bit of spring and branches from garden and nature uh, in white color. So I would like to show them. I would like to show you uh, uh, in a few uh, uh, color varieties. Uh, so we have the uh, Hanomeles, for example. Again, pussy willow. We have uh, we have Spirea, uh, Prunus. Again, Spirea. Then we have uh, uh, Magnolia, uh, blueberry branches, Populus alba, and many other plants. So it is not that just uh, that uh, the, the flowers are interesting. The bark is interesting. So uh, 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 or, so we we have to be able to find uh, all the characteristics and important aspects uh, 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 by plants uh, and be able to use them in the florist shop uh, in all kind of ways. Let's go to spring and branches from garden or nature in a little bit red color. So you have, we have as well a lot of uh, a lot of uh, plants uh, which uh, which fl uh, are flowering in the red color. So again, Hanomeles. Then we have pussy willow in uh, uh, this is colored, of course. Uh, then we have uh, uh, um, then we have parotia, for example, and uh, Hamamelis, for example. So if we observe the nature in uh, uh, all uh, uh, time, in every time of the year, uh, uh, every season, so we can really find a treasure in the nature. And a little bit of spring branches in, for garden or nature in the pink color, and so everything is for you. So these are beautiful backgrounds uh, for uh, uh, for a month uh, or even more. So uh, uh, like uh, like Prunus uh, persica, for example. Then you have Aesculus. Uh, then you have, for example, it's beautiful. It's uh, it's um, uh, Ribes uh, uh, King's Edward, and then we have again Corylus contorta and many other plants which can be a good background in the florist shop. Of course, after that, we add flowers. 
Uh, okay, and now summer and the plants from garden or nature. In summer, we feel we feel uh, a little bit relaxed, and uh, colors are very important. So. Uh, uh, in summertime, when outside is very hot, we uh, we have to have a more uh, uh, cold colors because uh, because uh, uh, psychology, our psychology is as well based on the colors. And when we use in the uh, in the summertime, we use uh, blue, white, lila, uh, green colors like that, uh, uh, blue, uh, turquoise blue. Uh, with that, we uh, we make ourselves a little bit uh, uh, more uh, cold feeling so we to, to, to look uh, cold colors and of course uh, at summertime we all think about Mediter Mediterranean uh, uh, Mediterranean parts uh, where to have holidays so the uh, aspect of Mediterranean plants and aromatic plants is as well important for uh, summertime and use of materials in summertime so if you we put for example for background in our florist shops uh, uh, this kind of plants, like uh, uh, laurel tree, olive, uh, uh, olive branches, stipa, then opuntia, uh, we have uh, all kind of uh, cortaderias, we have uh, myrtus communis, we have agave americana, uh, and so on, and kalanhoe. Uh, this can be a background which can lead few months, for example, like uh, like Kalanhoe or uh, Agava or Opuntia or other uh, other uh, plants here, they can be like the background in the flower shop, uh, shop few months. So let's say whole summer from June, we can have them even to September. And then is the autumn time, uh, 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 days are a little bit shorter and uh, temperature are a bit lower and then we need to feel a little bit warmer and with the uh, autumn time we use a little bit more warm colors. So uh, orange, yellow, red, uh, colors of earth, uh, they warm us up. So that is why we're using this color in autumn time and a lot of, a lot of materials with the fruits because uh, in autumn uh, is like a closure of the season and uh, plants are bringing their fruits uh, for a production and we can then easily use them in many ways. Of course, we have as well a lot of colored materials uh, uh, in, uh, uh, in uh, autumn time uh, and we have to be very careful about how to use all this material. I deliberately put it here, um, uh, here the... Uh, I forgot the word, let me... Um Piracanta coccina, Piracanta coccina, for example, because uh, here are all the plants very resistant, and uh, we have to really take really, really good care about the knowledge of the characteristics. Uh, Piracanta can maybe take one day, two days, or three days in the flower shop, depends where, when, and how we pick it. So uh, I deliberately put it in the middle, so to uh, to let you know that uh, even although there is a lot of uh, 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 choice at, in autumn time, you have to be careful and you have to know everything about characteristic of plants because that way you will be able to use them for a long time. Now we have winter and branches from garden or nature, all kind of conifers, all kind of moss, uh, everything smells on Christmas already. And of course, it's important that all these, most of these plants ha are very aromatic. With this scent, we bring the aromatic, uh, 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 aromatic feelings and uh, uh, atmosphere to our florist shop. Don't have, uh, for example, a conifer somewhere in the storage, in the backside, put them in a nice basket put them in a nice the big uh, uh, bowls and so bring them as a background into your flower shop and uh, have a natural uh, have a natural scent inside your flower shop as well through all the Christmas uh, time now about the always welcome to be present in our flower shops so the plants materials which we can use whole year and they get all the time be the background in our flourish shop. So uh, uh, we have here all kind of sipa, we have all high kind of uh, painted ruscus, but I would suggest to use the light colors because you can use them as a background, you can use them all the time in all kind of uh, uh, all kind of uh, 
uh, uh, uh, decorations, bouquets. Then you have Cortaderia, you have Craspedia, Lunaria, all kinds of mosses, Lagurus, cotton. So these are materials which are welcome in the florist shop all the time and they can be part of the background, uh, nicely displayed in the nicely uh, uh, nice uh, vases and uh, and uh, uh, can be part of the uh, can be part of the decoration and of course for use so that means there is no waste if you can you, we can use them for a long time oh yes i forgot about the scabiosa very important one and now a little bit just in one color about the long lasting flowers uh, actually here in white edition so these flowers can list in the florist shop uh, uh, more than weeks some of them uh, even uh, three weeks and it's important that we exactly know how to use them in the florist shop so uh, we have to have a plan when we make an order we have to have a plan how we will make a bouquet so we don't leave the choice to the uh, to the customer because we are there to suggest we are there to let them know how to uh, uh, what will be suitable for the bouquet uh, and uh, already in the beginning when we make an or when we make an order we already think about that I usually uh, compare that what we will have for appetizer main course and for dessert so three kinds of bouquets safe choices which uh, uh, with the structural textural and with the colors which we can uh, we can immediately connect into the beautiful arrangement and uh, the or the bouquet uh, so uh, we will we will that way not give customer choice uh, uh, to think and uh, we will just serve the customer in the way uh, so we are totally capable and professional uh, with a uh, with a really uh, nice and beautiful bouquet but hear about that uh, which are these resistant flowers and of course in bouquet uh, we should first use the ones which are not uh, uh, which uh, which will pass uh, 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 which don't least uh, uh, um, long so uh, actually uh, actually for example if we have we have here a choice we have a calandiva calandiva is actually the plant which is must have is in the flower shop it can least three months uh, three weeks it can least even month and you can we can use the flowers uh, we can glue the flowers in the decoration and they will not uh, die for a long time then we have carnation we have uh, Vanda orchid cymbidium uh, we have uh, protea we have helichrysum uh, amobium uh, then uh, limonium uh, uh, anturium uh, then we have clematis with fruits uh, all kind of small crystals Chrysanthemum, Agapanthus, Scala, uh, and so on. And these are all very resistant plants. But what I would choose when I would have this range of flowers in the uh, shop, uh, um, uh, which I got uh, into the shop today, what I will choose first, I would maybe choose really first Dianthus and, uh, and Vanda, and I would leave for the next days like uh, Ornithogalum, uh, Brasica, uh, then Calandiva, uh, Cymbidium, uh, uh, or... Um, Helichrysum or Protea because I know they list much more longer and I can use them a little bit later and with that I will have less waste. So uh, I, I made the choice in the white color, uh, so uh, it otherwise would be too long. So, and uh, you can imagine uh, that, uh, of course, we have uh, many other colors in this range of uh, materials. Okay, and a little bit about the season and story with Touch of Spring. For example, how to make an interesting bouquet uh, with a spring touch and the bouquet will look very beautiful for a long time. So here we have the Pussy Willow, like a base, and then we have some Craspedias, and then we have... Um, then we have Iburnum and why tulips here? Because tulips will slowly grow and they will try to catch, uh, uh, catch Craspedia and bouquet will look very nice 
for a week and more. So if we would put all the materials down here and tulips on the top, then tulips would grow and uh, the, the, the structure of bouquet uh, will, would not be interesting as it is interesting in this kind and choice of materials and in this way of structure. Uh, for example, sustainable spring after Christmas. Uh, uh, this kind of uh, waxed apples we usually use for Christmas. We want to have a big plates of these apples uh, in the florist shop, but uh, customers usually don't buy them all, or we cannot use them in arrangements. Uh, and but we have to think about that already in November. So when we make an order, uh, how we will use them if we will if we will not sell them at the Christmas time. So this is the uh, Valentine's bouquet where apple very good fits inside. So you can see the uh, sugar ones and the classic ones and story behind that is Eden. Eden. So the paradise. So the apple of paradise. And you can, it's all about the story. If you can make a good story, then you will sell your product in a very good way. Let's Okay, now as well here a little bit of long plastic arrangement. So uh, arrangement uh, with uh, with uh, cornus as a base, then uh, added uh, with the uh, uh, amaryllis, uh, and in a little bit colder place, this arrangement can last three weeks. As well here we have uh, we have arrangement with the uh, with the spiraea, uh, which will slowly open their buds and flower after that. But before the spiraea will be open, we have have a, a strong, uh, uh, colorful uh, touch with uh, uh, with uh, white germini, and uh, ornithogalum will as well stay a month in arrangement. All we have to do, we have to do a good uh, food, oasis food inside, so and uh, all uh, other kind of uh, things to to the duration arrangement will last longer. Okay, here we have, for example, Mediterranean aspect, how to use the, uh, the olive branches. Uh, Mediterranean parts are very, uh, very uh, um, uh, interesting for decorating because there is a salt and uh, hot air and we have to use materials which are resistant. So, and we usually use materials which are growing somewhere around. So uh, this is for, from my workshop uh, at Island Brach uh, in uh, January. So we made construction for the wedding uh, uh, arch made of uh, Olive, uh, olive tree branches, and then we add just protea and some uh, calandilla, and uh, this kind of choice of material will even at the uh, hot uh, summer Mediterranean sun stay few hours as long as it takes that the couple is married. And a little bit about the uh, uh, season with all kinds of autumn colors. Uh, so we have a, a wide range of materials to use uh, uh, in autumn time and connect the, connect the fruits and flowers and so on and so on. Uh, and of course the Christmas season here is as well uh, interesting. Uh, especially I would like to show this part. So at one of the workshops in the, uh, Croatia, they brought all kinds of Mediterranean materials and they said, what shall we do now? This will be waste. I said, we will have no waste. And we weighed a three meter high, the Christmas tree made only from laurel, uh, conifers, uh, like um, uh, cortaderia, all kinds uh, of materials from, uh, from Mediterranean nature and uh, uh, and the fruit garden, and we just add some of uh, uh, some of Ilex uh, uh, um, um, uh, fruits, uh, and we made a beautiful uh, Christmas tree made only from uh, made only from uh, Mediterranean material, green material. Okay, now a little bit uh, time is running. Must have pond plants in florist shop, so. Background in the flower shop with green part is as well very important. Not all the pot plants are resistant, but we have here some which are wary and they can be as a background and we can even cut some leaves from them to use them in arrangements. So Aspidistra, Syndapsus monstera, uh, all kinds of philodendron, uh, 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 then uh, Anturium leaves, uh, uh, Dracaena, and so on and so on. Uh, these all plants, as a pot plants, very resistant. 
uh, as well here, a little bit of them. So some Severias, Platicerium, uh, all kinds of Echeverias, uh, uh, and uh, Senecio, for example, uh, like here. Okay, sorry, I need to go further. And my garden plants where I can cut my own flowers. That's what I was mentioning before. So if we have at least a small uh, garden in, in the pots, we have a possibility to use some materials which other florists will not have. So, and this will be like a jewel in our, uh, in our uh, florist shops and in our uh, arrangements and uh, decorations. So uh, I'm often driving in the park and picking materials so to use them uh, uh, in my arrangements. So uh, let's go again through what we have to do. Let's waste more profit. So make your knowledge about the flowers and plants more wide and learn about uh, the characteristics of plants and varieties, what I mentioned before. Then long lasting branches, wood, moss, and everything else, what we can always recycle. Uh, uh, do not offer most long-lasting flowers uh, and plants first. So first the ones which are not so long-lasting. Uh, then uh, long-lasting pot plants are always useful. Uh, and have your eyes open in nature and everywhere else so that you will be able to take out of uh, nature. Uh, and of course, be uh, as most as possible creative. So... Thank you for a patty and zero zero. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. 자 이제 저희 질의응답 시간을 잠시 짧게 가져볼까 합니다. 혹시 들으시면서 궁금한 점들이 있으셨을 것 같은데요. 질문이 있으시다면 손을 좀 들어주시고요. 마이크를 전달을 드리겠습니다. 자 혹시 질문 있으실까요? 네, 우리 해외 연사님들께서 이번 포럼을 위해서 정말 귀한 시간 내어서 함께 해주셨는데 이렇게 소통할 수 있는 기회가 참 쉽지가 않습니다. 오늘 이 시간을 통해서 그동안 궁금하셨던 것들 있으시면 질문 남겨보시면 좋을 것 같습니다. 자, 혹시 질문이 있으시다면 손을 들어서 알려주시고요. It looks... 안녕하세요. 너무 프레젠테이션 잘 들었습니다. 어, 지금 국제화의 원예 산업의 차세대 도전 과제 대응 전략 여러 가지 많이 말씀해 주셨는데요. 그 중에서도 가장 중요한 것을 뽑으라 그러면 어떤 거가 될까요? Okay, the biggest challenge is the industry faces is of course the the cost of the uh, the cost of the energy. And that is why that is why we will have to go in a very sustainable way. And direction to that is what I was talking about. The uh, is a, a zero kilometer bouquet. What is leading to local production? Uh, South Korea have a uh, South Korea have a have a really uh, 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 a great uh, possibilities uh, for production and uh, a great nature. So I think the local production uh, will be a very good answer to the future and this is a, is a challenge. So of course, the local production have to be in one way supported by government. So uh, government as well have to see the, the interest and, uh, uh, and uh, like uh, possibilities uh, here and you have them. So uh, you have a high flower culture and uh, uh, consumption as well. And that means uh, you have a lot of possibilities to grow uh, materials. So the flowers here in Korea fulfill with some details from, uh, from overseas, from abroad. Use your uh, uh, nature because it's a rich nature and, uh, and uh, with creativity, you can really be uh, very successful. Thank you very much for your answer. 자, 저희가 주어진 시간이 좀 넉넉하지가 않아서 혹시 질문이 있으시다면 빨리 빨리 알려주시고요. 혹시 있으실까요? 네, 간략하게 좀 부탁을 드리겠습니다. 아, 네, 안녕하세요. 그 좋은 어, 말씀 감사드리고요. 어, 그 저희 한국 화해 문화가 굉장히 이벤트 여러 가지 
어, 선물 문화 이, 이쪽에 집중이 되어 있는데요. 혹시 그 생활 속꽃 문화를 더욱 확대하기 위해서 그 다른 나라에서 하고 있는 그런 어, 비즈니스 모델이라고 해야 될까요? 문화 같은 걸 혹시 제안해 주실 수 있는 게 있는지 그리고 소비자들한테 좀더이 화해를 어, 좀더 확대할 수 있는 어, 그런 혹시 제안이나 좋은 어, 사례가 있는지 궁금합니다. Yes, a very good way to promote the flower culture is making exhibitions like this and uh, even smaller or bigger. So that way we educate the final consumer. Because if consumers, they don't go uh, to the florist shop, they have to be educated in some other way. They have to be educated through the flower exhibitions, uh, flower presentations, although they are in the shopping malls, although they are on airport or in the big park, so where the, the biggest frequency of people is, so there, there should be uh, uh, fl uh, like flower presentations, uh, flower demonstrations, uh, 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 and fairs, and so on. And uh, uh, that way, the final consumer can see a wide range of materials and flowers and way how to use them. Uh, and, uh, and when this consumer will go to the florist shop, he will as well uh, ask the florist if the florist will not have this kind of the flowers or this kind of the technique, uh, why he doesn't have it. So, and that means a little bit passive aggressive approach to push, uh, to push the florist to educate themselves on the higher level and to promote the floristry uh, in social media and everywhere. And of course, uh, uh, like I said, uh, all kind of the uh, uh, presentations, affairs, uh, exhibitions and so on are very, very welcome. Of course, uh, uh, TV shows uh, as well, like uh, we have master chefs, we could have a master florist, that would be as well very interesting. And uh, this brings attraction, attraction to the public. Public. Thank you very much for your answer and uh, it's time to uh, wrap up the session. So thank you very much for your presentation. 다시 한번 큰 박수 보내주시기 바랍니다. 고맙습니다. 네,